So if, if you're ever wondering, right, it's, gen it's genuinely true. The best places to put anti-tank mines, right, on this map in particular, they are fantastic for it. Right? It's these little, I guess you call them trench lines. You literally just put two, one there, one there, and one there. Right? It's... The reason why it works is because of the driver's mentality. Right? I'm going to have to switch soon as well because it looks like it's getting bad. But if you think about it, right? When a driver gets here, he thinks to himself, Oh, if I, if I go slow, I'm just going to get stuck. So I've got to accelerate. So, of course, he accelerates. And by the time he realises, he's disabled. If he hits one, he's disabled. And then, because he's disabled... The fact that you're on a very slight slant, like this, you can see it goes down, it rolls forward into the other one. <laughs> it's honestly, each one as well is perfect for it, apart from the one at B. The one there that I just showed you, and the other, the best other one is, so this one works as well because, as you can see, the dirt is quite lifted, right? So the driver usually, again, mentality, oh, if I go slow, I'm going to get stuck. So he, of course, rolls it. All objectives. Perfect. Right? Now, yeah, yeah, really, I'm going to have to switch. Watch that, I'll show you, because I imagine that's Funda, because it's a, it's a Federal Trench. This one's probably the most genius, right? So if we you think about it, again, it applies to the to the mentality, right? It's uphill, so he has to keep his foot down. Bam! Works a fucking treat. Oh, I'd say honestly, eighty percent of my anti-tank mine kills have came from this map. So hello everyone. And instead of doing a post commentary, I figured I would actually just do it here instead. Making it a little bit simpler. So, a lot of people do generally struggle with anti-tank mines. And whereas, yes, it has got its difficulties, especially if you're up against a very experienced tanker. There are places where you can get very easy kills with anti-tank mines, make no mistake. Now, Priestess of Hurt is probably the best one generally as I, as i said before with the trench lines and the fact that it's night also really helps so due to lack of visibility however don't get me wrong they don't it doesn't always work out you can get very experienced shaman drivers for example with that spotlight lights up the mines they know for a fact the plant are there and they'll just blow them up now for amians the best way to do it, this is purely not for tanks, but for armoured cars, because you will get them, and they work in either direction. So, for example, three in a line like that will stop any armoured car driver from making it that far. Naturally, on the other side, on the D flag, plant them wherever you like. That's another good place. Here as well is a really good place, just due to the natural lighting. So, for example, a few such as like this. Now, you may think that's a little bit too far, but believe me, the Shamond really struggles to fit down here. Most tanks do. He will hit both. The other one to look for, look out to is, particularly when it comes to rubble. Any kind of brick on the floor. Something like that. Right, I'll move this on a little bit more, so we'll tend to take a tighter line. So, for example... At first glance, some tankers might see it, but some won't. Now, again, because of the disability, they'll hit this one and then continue to roll in whatever direction. So, for example, since they were going forward, they won't just come to a dead stop like so. What they'll do is they'll hit and then just keep rolling forward into the next one. It should I should note as well that it takes two anti-tank mines to kill any tank. That's the artillery truck to the heavy tank, to the land ship, 
to the uh, the light tank to the the uh, the shit to mount the pull is available near your location. The other place to try, if one is between being particularly problematic, is actually behind other objects, like so. Now, don't get me wrong, this might only disable them. Because mm, most of the time, these are destroyed by the time a tanker actually gets to them. But it's always a good way, maybe, to trick into possibly damaging one and then throwing an anti tank grenade, that type of thing. The other one is in craters, such as this one. Like so. Some tankers do come along this way. Chances are with the sort of broken up ground. They'll hit them. Maybe even behind here. Again, due to sort of the natural sort of spacing, that would work. But these are all places to try. If you, there's, any, there's more rubble on the map. I mean, there's also some down there as well. That's also a really good place to try. And finishing up for enemy armoured cars that are coming for a bit of a flank. Something like that will pretty much put a stop to them. The next one is Neville Knights. Now generally, again, much like Priest de Tahua, nighttime map, visibility is much lower. I've got 100 brightness. But even so, the best place to put them on these little wooden bridges, like this. Now, generally speaking, again, because of the sort of elevation, the tanker will hit one and roll into the next one because it's downhill. Now, this one doesn't have as many as Amiens. I mean, in terms of really good places. Because the sea flag over there, majority of tankers tend to avoid it because of its hilly nature. It's full of mounds of hills and as a result most tankers, myself included, tend to avoid it whenever we do this map. However, the D flag is pretty much perfect. Again, you can hide them like so. Now if you took away the little blue icon you can see there telling me that there's an explosive. Can you really see them? Places like that are absolutely perfect. Again, same side. For example, if you're on the French team, something like this. Perfect. Now, usually that's if tankers go on the map, or sorry, go on the flag, which I tend to do. I always try and get as close to the flag as possible. However, if they like to do an outside approach, that works in either direction. There, there, there. Stuff like that's perfect. And I've lost the other one. No, that's it. I mean, I'm struggling to find it and I've really placed them. But finishing up, you'll have the other wooden bridge on the German team. That's perfect for anti tank mines. Now, don't get me wrong. Experiment. Try them in other places. I'm, just, I'm simply just giving you the best places that I've had the most success with. And again, I will repeat this. Just because I've had success does not mean necessarily you will. But yeah, something like this. Again, slight elevation change. Hits one, you'll roll into the next. Now, one thing I would avoid is placing them on the wooden bridge itself. There is a reason for this. See, that could technically work. But, I mean, come on. That's kind of obvious. So folks, those are my personal three best maps. Amiens, Nivelle Knights, and Priest of If you want anti-tank mine kills. Now, just saying this, it doesn't mean every map will work or not work. I've got anti-tank mine kills on Ballroom Blitz, Passchendaele, River Somme, the list goes on. But those are the best. Now, you will fail sometimes, and there's nothing wrong with that. You will come across tankers who are very switched on, 100 service stars, continue to do it all the time, etc. Who just know. Now, honestly, when it comes to those, good luck. 
But all I can say is just keep trying, keep being persistent, but more importantly, try and always hide them somewhere. Don't just put them all in a like, like Dad will do. Yes, this will work. Because nine times out of ten, a good, a normal tanker will see something as stupid as that. There's also the fact that because it takes two anti tank mines to kill a tank, he will hit one, and because they're in that kind of order, he won't even hit the rest. So he'll just self repair and be on his way. And if he hits the other one, the second he's fully repaired, it'll just disable him again. It won't actually kill him. So yeah, I wish you the best of luck. If there's any advice that you would like me to do next, feel free. Just ask away in the comments. Other than that, all this is going to be is a compilation of the kills and where I specifically also put in, in order, where I actually placed them. This is simply to give you a good general knowledge idea of where you're supposed to put them as well. So yeah, very best of luck, and see you in the next one. Hopefully an easy anti-tank kill. Oh no, I said halfway through that I'm probably just going to stay on. I played till I drop. Yep. That was perfect, wasn't it? We have taken oh. objective by <laughs> Talking with us. Needs must. Would have been able to avoid the need and therefore actually win a good fight. That's not here to mind kill. Imagine the tank is gonna push this way. I'm just gonna purely guess. Just for those who don't know, right? Putting it there is really bright because they have to accelerate to get over the gap, otherwise they get stuck. So they automatically hit that. There's obviously, you know, the chance that someone will destroy it, like an, a, a good player. But for the most part, the tanks ignore it. Completely. No one laggy boy. And there's a guy outside. Oh, look at that. As if we have taken a route of Charlie. <laughs> if you have. <laughs> there you go. Those little riches are the best place to put mines. End of discussion. Just don't ever put them on the spawn of a tank because that's a real dick move. Last objective, Edward. Hi, excuse me, excuse me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So busy, sorry. I'm gonna do this quick. We have taken objective end.
take an objective charge. We have taken objective Duff. We have taken objective Edward. We have taken objective Duff. We are losing objective Charlie. We have taken objective apples. I didn't shoot the. <laughs> wow, nice. Uh, I was afraid uh, of the tank, so I put like. I think it's that it's that leader who's Franos or whatever. He's literally yeah. took the landship twice. Oh, I didn't record it. Fuck. Seven thirteen. There's another one. <laughs> Oh, there's another one! <laughs> we have lost objective apples. Thank <laughs> you. 